There we go. Okay. Let's just make sure I'm live. <sighs> Exited host mode. I wonder what that means. I wonder what that means. Okay. Let's play. Oh, that's. Why does my. Okay. You need to stop turning. You need to stop turning. Okay. Oh, wow. Has it been that long since I've played this game? Good lord. I figured it wouldn't. It wouldn't keep my data for that long. Jesus. Oh boy. Um dude, dude. This is going to this is going to be a mistake cuz I'm going to fucking fall asleep playing this game cuz of the lullaby. Almost feels like you're playing like a toddler game in a way. Almost. Yoshi! Let's play a new game. Welcome to Yoshi's... Oh, hold on. I'm going to turn... You're not going to see this, but I'm going to turn the display for the GameCube off. So I'm not looking at two screens. Welcome to Yoshi's Island, a paradise where all the Yoshis live. They're all over, all up over, over a baby that fell from the sky. Ah, oh, man. This is, this is one of those games where... Wait, it seems as though the baby knows where he wants to go. The bond between the brothers tells each other... This is a game that I'm not gonna read. I'm not gonna read this story. Pretty much the, the goal of the game: get Baby Mario to Baby Luigi. Um, this is a game that I don't have a lot of fond memories with. Uh, I don't really remember playing much of it. I'm pretty sure I played at least once, but for whatever reason or another, uh, it turned me off to it. Like I didn't think it was bad. It's just you know, you're a dumb kid and you don't know any better. Um, but this is, uh, for whatever reason, we're... ...version of Yoshi's Island, which is pretty, it's fine. It's just the sound quality takes the hit, as I sound like Malik Tyson. Uh, but I, uh, my experience with Yoshi games are not often, but my friend of mine, uh, Stackhouse, um, as he, as I call him by, swears by this game as one of his favorite Mario games. I think, I think by now you could classify, um, you can classify, ugh, there's an ability to talk right there. Yoshi as his own thing, you know, his own games. Uh, he swears by it, and so much so that... I actually bought Yoshi's World World and beat it like a year ago. Almost completed it uh, until I realized I didn't want to do no hit runs anymore. So I just got every colored Yoshi. Do, 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 do. So we got five worlds. Pretty standard stuff. I really love the art style for this game, though. I th I think when it comes to when it comes to like I think this sort of it's very eye pleasing. My opinion, it's very, very eye pleasing. Yeah, it's pretty much tell you, telling you how to play the game. You know, 
Like, look at this, man. Like, this, like, this game, even though I'm playing the GBA version, it still looks amazing. I probably shouldn't have wasted an egg. You know, this, this game still looks beautiful. Like, there's the one thing about, like, look at, like, a lot of, uh, PlayStation 2 games, or PlayStation 1 games, and even N64 games, um, they don't, they don't look as good anymore. Like, because, like, we were wowed by it at the time because that was early 3D, but... You know, but, like, you can play, like, for example, you know, just the, like, there's something about just 2D, not even necessarily sprites, like, because I think Donkey Kong Country, you know, using 3D, you know, still looks great. Uh, all three of them, I, th I still think they look great. What's down here? And, uh, like, they, 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 they last better. Obviously, there's no way, you'd like, like, you can predict, like, how, I'm supposed to do something? The, you know, like, what 3D games are going to look like. Even in 95, like, the, the N64 was in development at this time. But, you know. It's so hard to tell. Is there something I'm supposed to put in there? Yeah, you're going to give me... You're going to give me these, aren't you? Do, do. I think people actually prefer this game over Super Mario World. Like, and I love Super Mario World, so I... Which I can't... I, I'm not going to argue that, you know, you like the game, but I do love this. Like, look at the shine on the crystal, on the ground, like the sort of implying the sort of shininess of the caves. Kind of reminds me of the Vanilla Dome, but like very, but like nicer. It's hard to believe this came out four years after Super Mario World. Like, kind of showing the strengths of the Super Nintendo, like... You know, you had a great launch title, launch in some of those games, but then you look at what the system was fully capable of, you know, years down the road. There's a reason why the Super Nintendo is one of my favorite consoles. It's possibly my favorite console, next to the new 3DS, but that's just because it's encompassing everything beforehand, so hardly any reason for me to not like it. Ah. <sighs> This is definitely a stress labor game, like last year. Hey, Laser Watch, what's up? I'm just being crazy talking to myself. Uh, talking about my memories with Yoshi's World of World. Because, like, last year, I bought Yoshi. I have the uh, green Yoshi amiibo, which is so fucking cute. I'm looking at it right now. Um, and one of the first Let's Plays I wanted to do was on it, but I hadn't beaten it yet, so I didn't do it. Oh, I gotta go get that. This is going to be a casual stream tonight, uh, Laser Watch. Uh, feeling a little tired, and I wanted a stress reliever game, and I figured, well, why the fuck don't I play Yoshi's Island? You know, not 100%, obviously. Yay, give me the coins. Dude, have you ever played this game? Hope you have. Dude, dude, dude. But I played Wooly World, and, like, I would come home, like, from a hard day of work, you know, just being on my feet all day. And Wooly World was the per like, with the exceptions of some of the the special courses, like, and th those were meant to be challenging. Um, Wooly World was such a okay. And I'm going to un ah baby, I'll let the baby go. At least here in the GBA version, they uh... the uh, the scream because the scream in the the baby crying in Super Mario in the baby's crying in Super Mario in the original one is just awful. It's too loud. It's too loud. Goal. It's such a stress reliever game. Did I get everything? I'm not going. No, nah, I didn't get all the red coins. That's fine. There's really like unless you continuing my trend of you know not completing games. Yoshi's Island, I don't think, is worth completing. Like, other than bragging rights. Nah, the last Mario game I played was Mario World for the SNES. Well, I hope you like what you see here, because this is considered one of one of the best games Nintendo's ever made. Uh, at least by a lot of people, it is. I love... Like, look at this, man. Look at the art style. Ah, uh, look at this. 
Let me have, uh, what are those called again? Fuck, what are they called? Chain Chomps. Chain Chomps. Ugh. This, this game came out initially in 95, I want to say. Woo! Play a stress reliever game, he says. Oh, God. When you were a kid? Aw, oh, you missed out on some good Mario stuff, dude. Pretty pop. This is a good game. Uh, I don't know if you have... If Do you have a Wii U? Or a 3DS? Is there a watch? I don't know if you do. If you have a Wii U and you haven't played Yoshi's Island, uh, go play it. It's definitely worth... Like I think you can probably get it super cheap for now. Uh, Wooly World is definitely fun. Wooly World is a lot of fun. And what I love about Wooly World is that, like, at the end of each world, um, you have these, like, if you unlocked, like, if you got all, all the things in each stage, which I did, it's not hard to complete Wooly World, it really isn't. The most challenging aspect of completing Wooly World was, uh, no hit runs, which I never did, but to me, getting complete was, uh, was getting all the Yoshi, all the Yoshi things. That was about it for me. Did I fuck it up? Oh well. And uh, like in, in it, like so, like in the first in the first area, um, like the first special world, it's pretty challenging. Like I'm not gonna lie, especially if you, it's a pretty casual st stroll for the most part. Maybe next week I'll play Wooly World for you guys. I just wanted to play something that I have Skyward Sword in my Wii U disc, and honestly, I was just too lazy to pull out the disc considering I'm gonna do some war recording. Uh, oh yeah, here. Transformation. So, that's why. Also, I hope you're enjoying the Skyward Sword LP. Been a lot of fun producing that. Yay! I'm a helicopter. Meow. Meow. Well, that's, that's an air, that's an aeroplane. Gonna just ignore secrets. I'm speedrunning, yo. Welcome to the Super Mario World 2 speedrunning. A.K.A. the slowest speedrunning of all time. Can I get up there? But I hope you had a nice weekend, Laser Watch. I really hope you did. Dude. Oh! What are you? Oh, it's a one-up. Cool! Do, 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 do. I actually don't have a Wii U, but we'll get one when the price goes down. Mostly a PS or Xbox guy. Right now, I was saving for a PS. Uh, well, honestly, man, you're better off not getting a Wii U because the Nintendo Switch is coming out. So, like, I love... I'm pretty sure the Wii U is going to go on sale, you know, because of the Switch. Um, but, uh, you know, I can understand if you're one of those kind of guys, but, you know. I think you can get it for under $200, a Wii U. Like a 32-gigabyte one. There's some good There's good games on it, man. I, I really wish the Wii U had done better. Because there was, a lot, there was a lot of fun games on there. Can I get that? I don't think. There's a lot of fun games. I mean, you see me play some of them, you know. I swear by it. I swear by it. Like it's, it's, it's a console that unfortunately, with bag marketing, didn't do well. Um, sunk, sunk very early on. But you know what? I'm happy with it. I don't. I bought it three years ago, and uh, I don't regret my purchase at all. I was able to play Earthbound for the first time. That was a lot of fun. I was, you know, got to play. What else did I get to play? Play all these indie games. You know, and plus, again, all the... F like, you know, I'm not a person who's into some of the AAA games that are coming out, you know? Like, I'm not, like, Assassin's Creed, any... Like, none of that stuff interested me anymore. Like, there was a time when it did, but it didn't interest me. Uh, so, like, when... Seeing that I could only play... You know, Wii U titles... No! Gotta go all the way back. You know, it was fine with me. You know, Pikmin 3, uh, Donkey on Tropical Freeze, which is one of the best 2D platformers ever. Um, you know, I need to get back to Xenoblade Chronicles X. I might stream that. It's a big, massive multiplayer on, uh, JRPG that Nintendo put out. Uh, that I stopped playing because it just got too big for me. But maybe now that I'm streaming, maybe I'll play it more just to moment motivate myself. Do like a whole month of Xenoblade stuff. I know it's like way past shade to do it, but you never know. 
But you don't get to play all these Game Boy Advance titles. I just wish I just wish it was a, there was a lot more to the console. Do 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 do. What are you? Sunshine. One up. Yay! And also tonight's probably not gonna be. I really want. I really want one for two for the classic games like these. Don't forget using emulators to play this game. Don't forget to do for example also not phase on this kid. Here's the thing, honestly, man. You're better off getting a 3DS. Because not only, I mean, unless you want to play it on your TV. Depends on, how much, depends on what you want to play. The Wii U is pretty good with it. You get Game Boy with the Wii U. You know, even though it's the Switch is coming out in five months, uh, you know, you got a shit. You got some. They've actually put up N64 games. Not a lot, but you know, enough. You get N64 games. What was that noise? You okay? Oh, scroll. We're playing scratch and sniff. You got N64 games. You got um, we. They actually put some Wii games on there. Some like very hard to find Wii games. You know, physically at least. Uh, what else do they got? Oh, it's Kamek. Uh, a lot of Super Nintendo. You know, a lot of D. D there's even DS games on there, so that's what's cool. Um, what else? You know, of course, and of course, all the indie stuff. There's some great independent independent titles on there. Plus, it's backward com backwards compatible with the Wii, so that means if you buy a Wii game physically, you can still play it. So yeah, there's there's you can't you can't there's something there's that's one thing that Nint that Microsoft will not have over oh what's that. That Microsoft or Sony, Microsoft or Sony can never have is that nostalgia factor for Nintendo games. Look at this! Look how pretty this looks. I mean, granted, we're watching you know the GBA version, but look at this, man! This came out in '95. Stars, stars. You know, like there's a, not to say that you know PlayStation One games aren't classic, but. They aren't classic like Mario is classic or like Zelda is classic. Like, you know, Resident Evil 7 is coming out, you know, in a couple months. Or two months? Four months? Something like that. Ow! Baby! Come here. There we go. And, like, there's excitement for it, but, like, that doesn't compare, that doesn't compare to, you know, what Breath of the Wild is doing. Doesn't compare at all. What the hell? What are these things? Ow, I got smushed between two rocks. Alright, we need a key to get in there. Is this the key right here? No, not a key, but close enough. Up to almost a thirty. Also, I'm excited tomorrow. I'm gonna finally see Doc. Time. Gonna be super good. Can't wait. Favorite superhero, one of my favorite superheroes of all time. Finally on the big screen. Alright, we need to get. Oh, there's a. I missed the flower? I thought I missed the flower. Alright, yeah, you can only get up to maximum 30 stars. 
Well, let me ask you this, Laser Watch. What's a cl- what's a what's a classic? What is a classic Nintendo game you wish you could play? Not named Duncan Country Two. Oh, we got a mini game. It's mini game time. Darn balloons. My mic cut off. That's weird. Uh, Doctor Strange. That's weird. That's weird that my mic cut off. Sorry about that. Hmm. Hope that doesn't. Maybe my maybe my internet is being wonky because. Shouldn't. All right. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Oops. There we go. Is he gonna bop on him? No. Ah, I win. I win. I win. Suck it, bandits. Oh, I guess you have to go grab it. Ow, no, my baby. Come back here, Mario. There we go. You're safe. It's okay. I'm not a big superhero comic guy, but yeah, the movies they make are awesome. I'm planning to see it too. Yeah, do- like, Doctor... Yeah, man. I'm more excited because... Like, I've been wanting a Doctor Strange movie since I was probably... Ow! <laughs> Come back here. No salt tonight. Um, uh, since I was probably, like, at least 12 years old when I first was introduced to Doctor Strange. Uh, you know, through cartoons and various comics that my dad would give me. Um, this seemed like such a cool character. You know? He's a magician. He's a sorcerer. What's this? Is this a reference to Super Mario World? Super Mario World 2? Super Mario... No, Super Mario Brothers 2, no Super Mario World. Is there nothing in here? Why is this here? That's weird. Let's keep going. But yeah, I'm excited. Also, I'm gonna get new. Gonna go get my vision looked at, uh, so I can get new glasses. Because being an adult is a thing now. Well, it's always been a thing, but you know. I'm actually, this this is gonna be the first time in my life where I'm getting glasses, and my old ones didn't break or I didn't lose them. Um, one of my one of my one time. It was my junior year of high school. I want to say it was my junior year of high school. Yeah. I uh, went to, uh, we had raised enough money to take a trip to Fiesta, Texas in San Antonio. I grew up on comics? Yeah, I did. My dad. Yeah. I have a shit ton of comics, man. Like, I should take a picture and post them on Twitter sometime and how much graphic novels I own. It's, it's a lot. I, like, over, like, I've had, I've been reading comics all my life, but... I've only started collecting them since about 10 years ago. Um, so it's a little like, but even then, I still have a lot of graphic novels. Like, some classic runs, some like experimental. St- ah! Let go of me, please. Um, so yeah, I've been, I've been reading quite a while. I love, I love comic books. Heck, the two, the, my, one of my jobs is to write about comic book news, so it's like, you know, that's. That's a pretty sweet thing. It's not a lot of money, but I'll take it. So, like, whenever, like, uh, before, before I, like, you know, when I wasn't, when I was in college, um, I would have to. Whenever we go see a Marvel movie, they would ask me, "So, what does that mean?" Uh, well, I have. Let's see. I have three shelves currently of comics, of just graphic novels. That doesn't count the amount of single issues that I own. That's probably. 
that's probably an amount I don't even want to think about, but <laughs> it's it's a lot. Like I own some Daredevil stuff from the '80s, uh, you know, some mid '90s stuff, a lot of super some Superman stuff, Sandman, which is my favorite, Swamp Thing, some Thor stuff, um, Watchmen, one of the greatest graphic no the greatest graphic of time, lots of Hellboy, a lot of independent stuff, a lot of experimental stuff. Um, I own some classic like Marvel stories. Like when I was in college, w the small collection I had, I would loan the books out. Like whenever it was like a break or something, like summer, like here, read this and get back to me. And they would be my friends would be either like they would either be not interested or they would be like, wow, holy crap, this is crazy. Um, so yeah, and I'm still buying new stuff. Ah, I got Kamek. Alright, we got our first fortress. We're probably gonna do the first two worlds tonight and probably call it. Because these aren't long these aren't long this isn't a long game at all, especially if you're not going for one hundred percent. Also check this out. I don't not this, but Alright. Um if you see this door right here, this has uh four lines. It's three D Like that's crazy. Look at that. For 1995 on the Super Nintendo, it's crazy, right? Give me the stars. So yeah, I love comic books. I love comic books. I love comic books of all kinds. Whew. Baby, come here. No. Thank you. He just committed suicide. That's that's messed up, yo. Let's get as much uh, eggs as we can. Is anything in here? No. That is so cool. Anything? I should be able to get up there. Uh, for some reason, the comics died a long time ago because they feel old school. No, man, they're still pro they're still producing comics. Every dude, every Wednesday, new comic books come out digitally and physically. Um, so there's always something new to read. Whether you want to read it or not, it's up to you. But there's plenty of old stuff, like as they were, say, in the mid '90s. But there's definitely like a big enough, like a like a, a core fan base and there's some of them that feel old school like I'm not gonna lie like some of them like you won't understand some of the tropes but like I'm trying to think of a comic you know I'm gonna recommend you a comic book um I, you don't really like superheroes so I'm gonna recommend you read what is a good comic what is a good comic book? Oh. Hmm. Let me take a look at my shelf here. Oh, you know what? I'll recommend you one of my personal favorite science fiction stories. Uh, ow, I died. Uh, go check out Fear Agent. Um, it is published by Dark Horse Comics. It was published. It's finished. I believe it's been that long. Um, it's called Fear Agent. The writer is Rick Remender. Um, are, several different artists work on it, and it is so good as a like so good. It's a big science fiction like space adventure with with a badass Texas cowboy. Uh, it's really really fun, and it gets really emotional too. So like it, like it does a good job of investing you in the characters. 
I should, you know what the thing is, is like, I don't post, like, about my, like, I'll, I'll tweet about certain things, you know, like, about certain things about my comic reading, but I don't tweet enough about comics. I really don't. Ow, that again. Let's get that again. Stars. Stars. Alright, let's see if I can check it out. Yeah. And again, they're available digitally, you know, or or however means you want to do them, but there's there's there, there's there's lots of comics. <laughs> there's lots of comics. But Fear Agent's one of my favorites. The, actually the writer for that uh, is one of my favorite writers of all time. In in terms of comic books. Got it. Like, I met him, I met him at a convention once, um, and it was very fun, it was very awesome to meet him. Obviously we need to, can I go down? Oh, I can go down. Yeah, there's five volumes of it, so. Oh, bathe me in the coins, baby. Bathe me in the coins. Like there was um there was a time when I had when like I had like actual like more disposable income than I knew what to do with. So like every like Saturday I was off, I would go to a used bookstore. He, I don't know if you have a half price books where you live, but uh like for me, I would go to that like set, like half price books. There was there's multiple here in Austin. Um and uh I would pick one and I would I would uh try to f find like a graphic novel I've heard or like continue a collection I was already starting get wrecked there we go I think we're close to the boss We All right, now we have our first boss. Oh, hello, Kamek. Yes, you want to cause me shenanigans. Wee. Bert the Bashful. I also love the boss music for this list. It's so cheerful. So cheerful. It shouldn't be this cheerful. Ow. Yeah, that's, that's fortunate. That's what's happening to a lot of... You know what I miss, bookstore-wise, though? I miss... I miss uh, Borders. Uh, you, uh, don't know if you had a Borders where you lived at. Damn it! Also, we're trying to make this his pants fall. Ah, oh, we made him bashful. Pick up your pants. Uh, borders. I used to uh, and um, bo when Borders went out of business, that broke my heart. One, because every once in a while they would send me thirty percent off coupons off of new off of new items. So guess what? I went to go spend it on books, comic books, and uh, two, like they would always they would be in like very different places. So like I take the bus everywhere. So I used the bookstores as a reason to go out further than I probably should have gone out at least how old, depending how old, when I like at that particular age, um, you know, especially trying not to get lost. And uh, that was a lot of fun. And when they closed, it, it just sucked. 
Oh, it's an auto scrolling level. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got the donuts. You know, one thing that this. I think I died. Yeah, I died. That's okay, though. We got 17 lives. We got 17 lives. Do, 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 do. All right, come on. I need you to go down. There we go. Got it. And I died. <laughs> Lol. Let's try it again, shall we? Also, I like this purple Yoshi. Purple? Or would you say this is lavender? This looks like a lavender Yoshi. Wow, I cannot maintain my footing at all on that. <laughs> I cannot maintain my footing at all. Stupid game. Nah. So, oh, have you been hearing this in every? Let me guess. Every like, where have you? Where did you hear this first? I want. I'm curious. Where did you hear this song? Yeah, it's from Yoshi's Island. It's catchy as fuck music. There's a reason why a lot of people use this song. Let it be known that I helped Laser Watch. Um, my life is now complete. Has this been? Has has it been bugging you this entire? How long has this been bugging you? And I died again. Alright, let's try to beat this. There's another Twitch streamer. Oh, they just use it as background music? I'm assuming they just use it as background music because you didn't know what the game was from, so... That's funny. Well, I played the... Uh... No, I actually watched a Let's Play of Yoshi's... Uh... Of this game first. He... Oh, well, we dropped the record. Oh, he always uses the intro for his streams? That's funny. It's catchy, man! It's upbeat! Ugh. This game is too... Dis Look at the visuals for this game! Such distinct, unique visuals. Yeah, they're not, you know, they're not graphic intensive, but who cares? They're aesthetically pleasing. I think that's more... Ultimately, I think aesthetically pleasing graphics are much better than... Look at how many... Look, I can see Donkey Kong. I, I, look how many the different facial animations I can animate on this one guy. Like, I don't care about that. That's like, boring as sin. That's why I don't like. That's why I find it more impressive for game modern games to have a definitive art style than to say, um, like be pushing a console uh, to its limit. Like, if they can do it very well, it's, it's fantastic. Like, you know, the Uncharted series. But, like, I guess the, the worst case scenario is, like, the Order 1886, which is, it's, like, it looks pretty, but you can tell, but, like, the shadows and everything, that they had to, oh, wow. Did that no looking. Like, they had to do a lot of tricks to get it like that. Come on, I'm pretty sure all these are red coins. Yeah. Yay, we did it! Another level.
Gol. Oh, we're only missing four red coins. I'm the same way. As long as the game is good, I could care less about the graphics. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Graphics, like, it has to look a certain way for me to, like... Graphics do matter in in, 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 a, in, a, in a sense, but for the most part, it's all about aesthetics to me. Visual design, placement, you know. That's what it's about. That's what games should be about, in my opinion. I feel the current generation of gamers cares too much about graphics these days. It's not just the current generation of gamers, man. It's always been like that. It's always been about graphics and horsepower more. That, uh... Like, yo... Like, oh, I almost got another game over. Like, it's, it's always been like that. Which... Oh, what is this? Can you tell me something? Um, yellow eggs can create coins. Red eggs can create two stars. Flashing eggs, anyway, with those required. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know it's always been like that. I think it's more so now with the younger generation because that's what they've grown up. They've grown up on. Um, like you know, say for example, like you know, just using me as an example. I grew up with the Super Nintendo, so, like, I saw this natural progression of 2D sprites to 3D models to refined 3D models to 3D backgrounds and all these other things where it got better versus, like, say a kid who was born 10 years ago when the original PlayStation came, PlayStation 2 and the Xbox 360 came out, or PlayStation 3 and the original Xbox 360 came out, you know? Like, that's what they know. You know, it's not a fault of their own, but it's like, you guys, you guys don't know what it was like to play. And I love all those those games that I played. I mean, I'm playing one right now. Um, like, you guys don't, like, you guys put so much emphasis on graphics that you don't, most of them, not all of them, some of them are smart kids. They don't know... You know, they don't know how good they have it. Like, I didn't even grow up in an NES, but there are plenty of people who are, like, 20 years older than me, who grew, or 10 years older than me, who uh, grew up with an NES, and they know what that struggle is like, you know. I mean, not, well, not, maybe a struggle in their eyes, but, like, that progression. Versus now, you got games that are, you know, high resolution with full voice acting, you know, versus, like, you played, like, back in the day, if you played Final Fantasy VI, you just got text and sprites, and it was epic in your brain. It was epic on the screen that needed to be. That's all it needed to be. Stars. Alright, let's dump you. Sacrificial lamb! Also, this thing is giggling as it's exporting. So that's creepy. Oh, we're gonna be mobile. We're gonna be mobile. Yeah. All right, hold on. I need to read that. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just hard to understand when it comes to when you live in a different time compared to others. Yeah. I mean, that's true. I mean, again, like this, like I said, there's there's some kids who know have gone back and played the classics. You know, maybe not the NES, but you know, they they've gone back and played the Super Nintendo or the Genesis, and they understand. To me, it's all about understanding where you come from, you know? All about... It's all about where you come from, knowing your history, knowing that not everything started with Sony and Microsoft. Like, that's just a lie. You know, I understand Nintendo's not exactly popular as they used to be, but still.
Come here and be buy delicious food. I mean, I think I was very blessed to grow up in the era I did in terms of video games. I think so. I think I was. I could already turn them into food. That was probably a bad idea. I died. I wasn't paying attention. Was not paying attention. Ow, that hurt. Oh, wait, we didn't get this one. Dude, dude. Ow, why did I get. Why did I fall in there? Huh. Sorry. I guess I'm sleeping and I thought I was. We might just call it at the end of this world, honestly. Not even gonna be surprised. We might just call it at the end of this world. So this might be a super short stream. There's a reason why I didn't want to play RE4 tonight, because I was I was sleepy and I got a long day ahead of me tomorrow too. Well not a long day, but uh, I gotta get up, gotta go you know, do things, do adult things. I always wish to know what it was like during the time Nintendo was competing with Sega. Now the era sounded really cool. I mean, it was cool from what I remember. From what I remember, like you were. The thing about me though is that I was like, you. You know, the, the thing you hear is like you were either a Nintendo kid or a Sega kid. I think I said this before, but um, I my father used to be a manager for a video game store here, and it's still around. It's just, and he's still friends with the people, with one of the persons who's still there, um, I think, um, last time I checked. But, uh, what was cool about it was that you were either, you know, Sony or, or, or Nintendo, and initially Nintendo was not, actually, hold on, Laser Watch, I'm going to recommend you a book right now, okay? I hope you got a pen and paper. If you want to honestly know what it was like, to a degree, like, maybe not be, like, with first-hand experience from maybe not the fans, but the people who were at Nintendo and Sega at the time, go read a book called Console Wars. It's by Blake J. Harris. Um, it basically chronicles the, the hiring of Tom Kalinske, who was the president of Sega of America, right when the Genesis, right, right around 1989, 1990, because uh, the Genesis came out in 89, so it covers, it's a lot of it's focused on Sega because Sega is more easily to act like you can talk to Sega employees very or ex Sega employees, um, uh, and it talks about like Nintendo them battling it back and forth, the ERS, ESRB ratings, you know. It talks about packaging and how there's this great sequence in the book. Uh, I should keep playing. I should keep playing. I was like, this is gonna turn into a podcast. There's a great sequence in the book where. Um, the Super Nintendo is about to come out. Um, they got their hands on one of them very, very early. And, um, ow. And, uh, basically they wanted to compete with, oh, with the, uh, with, the, they wanted to compete with it, right? So they're basically begging the Sega of Japan bosses to, um, lower the price of the Genesis even further. And it was already low enough as it is because it came built in with Sonic the Hedgehog um, but it, it, it and like the, it goes over the commercials the ad what they try to do the frustration Sega of America had with Sega of Japan it's it's a really great book and it's not written like a like a history of it it's more written like it's a like a story like you're reading a story. You know, it talks about Sega's dominance for the short while they had dominance. Uh, Nintendo, sort of Nintendo of America, sort of willingness. It's it's really great, and it gives you context for everything. So yeah, you want to you want to get some 
Idea Console Wars by Blake J. Harris. Write that down. I hope so, man. I, I hope so. I hope you look it up, man. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's... To me, there's... I'm pretty sure there's a lot of books about that era, but that, to me, the book, in terms of what I read, uh, that's the best book on that era. Yeah, we got Mario. Oh, that's Kamek. Oh, well, we got two lives. Yeah, it goes right all the way up to um, the Saturn. I think pretty much the Saturn is where it pretty much stopped. One seven. One seven. Ow, my ankle. Touch. F oh, check this out. So, this is one of the more memorable stages in Yoshi's Island. So you come here. Seems like a normal looking grass level, you know. Nothing we've we haven't seen anything different before, you know. Well, I just died. <laughs> but nothing we have seen anything differently before, you know? Yes, I want to try this stage again. Oh, we're red Yoshi now. We're like pink watermelon Yoshi. I'm messed up. Oh, we can't lick those things. Nope. Oh, well, fuck it. No! Baby Mario, come here. Ah, oh, I hate that you can't touch these things. Shy guys, come here. You will be consumed. You will be consumed by the Yoshi. Dun 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 dun. Nothing different, he says as he dies. Yep. Also, hey, Stackhouse. Mario, come here, please. Right. Is this supposed to be a reference to Mario Brothers 2? I feel like it is. Alright, where are you? Where are you, Fuzzy? I want you, Fuzzy. Come here, Fuzzy. Ah, so you see those things right there? Hey, kids. Don't do drugs. Oh, no. Look at Yoshi's eyes. Look at, look at Yoshi's eyes. Oh, man. I can feel colors. I can taste- I'm just making him more high. Touch Fuzzy, get dizzy. I'm not gonna lie, when I first played this game when I was a little kid, this made my head hurt. Like, I could not play it. Like, it's just- oh, everything's in slow motion. You lose control a little bit. They don't hurt you, but I'm just gonna keep getting Yoshi drunk or high or whatever we wanna call it. Everything gets distorted. It's hilarious. Oh no! Why is there a baby on my back? What the fuck is going on, man? What am I doing here? Look! And I think, uh, in the Super Nintendo version, uh, he's... His eyes aren't glazed, Yoshi's eyes aren't glazed out, rather they're just, like, wide open. Like, what the fuck is going on, man? These are, these are fuzzies! These are fuzzies, that's what they're called. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. That's what, that's the gimmick of the level. Luckily, it doesn't last for too long, and they don't stay... They don't stay forever. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, give me these stars. Yeah, the effect is a lot better on the Super Nintendo. You're right, you're right. You're right. Oh, you can break those. When in doubt, go down the trodden path. 
I mean, if you play the GBA version of Yoshi's Island, it's pretty much the same game. The effects are a little bit less, and the sound quality takes a hit, but other than that, gameplay-wise, you're getting the same thing. Bonus challenge! I mean, it, it is better on the SNES because it has... It's running like an advanced chip in its cartridge. Oh, excuse me. Holy hell. And, you know, it has more power to work with than, say, a Game Boy, a Game Boy Advance cartridge. Looks so creepy, but it scared me as a kid. Yeah, I can see that. Happens so early in the game, too. This is only World 7. Chances are, as a kid, you probably got here within the first 20 minutes. No, it's Kamek or Goomba, whatever the hell that thing is. Oh, we got one more shot? Yay, we got more lives. Alright, so now we got the, uh, the bo first boss of the game. Probably gonna call it after this, because my eyes are starting to fall asleep. It's been a long day. It's been a long morning. Oh, I can't go any further with that. Did I get it? I got it. Oh, wait. That was dumb of me to wait to do that. That was dumb. Why did I do that? Oh, well. No, you will let me... You shall not pause. Too bad not going 100%. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to go 100% for this game. Like, at least with Donkey Kong Country 2, 3, 1, well, not 1. Oh, excuse me, holy shit. The bonus levels are fun, but I feel like they should have just been additional levels. Like they're not, to me, they're not worth a 100, like, finding everything for. They dishonor. Music here is freaking good. You, uh... And go listen to the SNES versions of this, because what you're listening to is through the GBA ones. And granted, you're listening it through, like, emulated through the Wii U... But it's still trying to replicate that GBA sort of crackle thing it does. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, the SNES versions are not nicer, basically. Everybody just sit there and realize... Maybe I should start doing something and then you don't. Cause fuck the police. That was close. That was really close. So too early to beat me. Ten years early to beat me. Alright, stay away from that guy. No, we have to flip that one. Oh, I see what I have to do. Poochie! God damn it, Poochie! I still want that Poochie amiibo. The, uh, the yarn poochie, I want that to be so goddamn bad. Mm. 
Hmm. Oh, come on. Wait. Yeah, we need to have... Wait. Wait, hold on. There's no point of... No, we do have to go over there, though. But instead of trying to do the hard way, maybe we'll just... Do... Okay. There we go. Yoshi? Oh no. Well, isn't this lovery? Pretend you have one for Wooly World 3DS. I'm not gonna buy the. I'm not gonna buy the 3DS version of Wooly World. There's no point. It's a graphical. It's a graphical less disappointment. It's a graphical disappointment, man. All these games you hate, you didn't buy on Wii U. Buy them again on the 3DS. Now with new content. More than 11. Well, I just legit closed my eyes for a second. So yeah, we're going to beat this and we're going to call it. I'm clearly much more tired than I thought I was. Save point. Alright, cool. We're at the boss. Portability? Yeah. Yeah, but like, why would you play Yoshi's Woolly World? Pull it like, poor, like, it's damn good. It can't match the power. You know. No, it's a boss fight. Whatever shall I do? Oh, hey, Goober. Bet I die. Bring it on. Is this one where I have to push the... Push the thing? Oh, I gotta push him into the lava, that's what it is. Oh, I beat him! Never mind, I guess I didn't need to knock him into the water. Bye, googly eyes. That's world five? Oh. Alright guys, I know it was really short, and I know it's that how she got here, but apparently I'm more tired than I thought I was. And I gotta I gotta wake up early so I can upload another part to Skyward Sword. So thank you guys for coming. I know it was short, but hey, we'll probably we'll probably do more probably do more Wooly World. Not Wooly World, we'll probably do more Yoshi's Island. RE4 is not dead. It's just I wanted to take a break from it. You know, didn't want to push myself tonight. Uh so yeah. Thank you guys for coming for a short, short stream. It was fun. I had fun. Let's do this again sometime. My place. Good night, everybody.